is this? Why is this so difficult all of a sudden? What's going on here? This has never been this hard in my whole life before. Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, let me get a sip of this in me, if it's not too hot. Uh, in this episode of You Send It, I Art It, or first of all, it looks like somebody, I can tell there's a pencil in the bottom of this, but it didn't fare too well. Let me get this letter out of here. You can see right down in the bottom of here that this is not the first time this has happened when someone sent me uh, a writing instrument in the mail. Last time it was a pen that got blasted to smithereens. And this time it was um, some sort of a uh, little sketching pencil that it just didn't make it through. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's see what the letter says. It says, uh, it says, stay already farty, Ryan. Yo, thanks, Ryan. And, uh, sorry, I, I mean, hold on a second. It might still be savable. Re you know, rescue, I might, it might not be all the way gone. Look at that. I think, I think the reason pencil sharpeners have two holes is to just, just be a hundred percent sure that the lead gets taken out of your, the tip of your pencil in one way or another. I don't know. Anyways, thank you, Ryan, for that wonderful pencil that didn't survive the journey. And here we have another box. Wonderful. Right here on the top, taped to it, it says, people always seem to send you art, so here are some weird doodles. It says, the world is quite strange. This one reminds me of the wild card on a rummy cube thing. Have you guys ever played rummy cube? That one kind of looks like my face or someone else's face. Is that kind of narcissistic that I think all faces now are mine? It probably is. All right, so what, a uh, plastic bag? Have a letter. Pull that right out and set it aside. Some more bags here. I don't think there's anything in these. I'll check those bags later. Like uh, some sort of owl pen with a sticker halfway removed. And then some other stickers down here. I think these are like Tetris stickers. Did I get my lunch packed for me? Oh, Christmas in July. I'm gonna open this little guy first. Something you get out of a gumball machine. Hold on. I hadn't actually ever taken a sip of this yet. I think it's time. Oh, that's good. Oh, there we go. It's a tiny message in a bottle. Can I read it? Or am I supposed to go throw it in the ocean since I'm at the ocean? Is it still littering if you throw a message in a bottle into the ocean? Oh my goodness, it's so tiny my hands are shaking. I, guess I think I can do it. The future pivots The future... The future pivots around you, here, now, so do good for humanity and for Earth. I like that. I, I should read the letter. Where's the letter? Dear Peter, I love your videos. They entertain me and help me sleep here. Some things to look at, I guess. Some tiny things and some not so tiny things. The pen makes terrible sounds. I'm sorry about that. That's all I have to say, I guess. Okay, bye. Sincerely, Mickey. Yes, you can take the note out of the bottle. Oh, whew. there's a little a little Santa hat. Hmm. I like I like fun little hats. I do like fun little hats. I knew it was Christmas in July. I knew it was. Before I even saw the Santa hat. <laughs> oh, a little mini crayon set with some little mini pieces of paper. It's adorable. A comic notebook, 64 pages 
of never before seen action in Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it now. Wow, that's kind of that is kind of a cool idea that they draw out the panels for you, so then you just kinda of have to fill them in. That is strangely inspiring. That does hmm. Oh, talking about stubbing your pinky. These are cool post-it notes. They make funny noises. And a little mini paint set. Oh, that, I don't think I broke it. Little watercolors. The little brush. Alright. Enough of that. Oh. Makes old shoes new, makes new shoes fly. I'm gonna have to figure out how to make those work. That looks complicated. This is like, this is t a little almost too much like sewing, I think. I'm not sure, but it seems a little almost too much like sewing, but I, even I might be able to figure this one out. We'll see. Let's see what's in this one. If I can open this one easier than the last one. Oh, looks like two impossibly small shells and a little, like a little octopus. A little pixelated octopus head. I'm not sure what this is for, uh, but it's very cute. It's all very cute, but I'm not sure what it's for. I'm also not sure what I'm supposed to do with Tetris stickers. Like the whole point of Tetris blocks is that they move around and if you stick them down, then I just don't know. I just don't know. Hmm. That one eludes me. It does. Oh, this one does make noises. I, th I think the battery's dying. That's the sound of a battery dying right there, I think. Or is that the sound it's supposed to make? Is that how owls really sound? The owl can be friends with the little, little horse pen. Nay. Nay. How about we, uh... How about we use the mini crayon set? That looks fun. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna be straight up with you and tell you that these little tiny crayons were a bit of a nightmare. They're actually a complete nightmare to draw with. Um, I didn't really enjoy it at all. You know, they were so small that I guess the advantage of them being small is you can just pop them in your pocket, but you can buy a little box of crayons, you can still pop those in your pocket. Anyways, they were so small, my, my fingers were cramping up trying to hold them, and they were also very slimy. I guess that's just how wax is. But I, it was just, they were hard to hold onto because they're small and they were waxy and slimy. And I think I was, I was drawing in my, uh, like a moleskin sketchbook here, notebook, and I think it was just the wrong kind of paper. I think I needed paper with a little more, a little more tooth, and it might have been better. And I just, I, and, and to boot, just to add on to all this, I was in the middle, in the midst of a bit of a, of an, like an artist's funk. Like I was kind of floundering about a bit. I didn't know what to do before this. I had been experimenting with some other weird, you know, like glow paint or something that did also didn't go well. And before that, something else that didn't go well that was weird and wonky. And this was just another weird thing that didn't go well. And you know, that happens sometimes. And, and I'm a big proponent of switching up the mediums when you're in a bit of a funk, you know? Like I say, like, Artist, I mean, maybe it's my, it was my little version of artist block. Like, I don't really have artist block, like, where I can't not draw, but sometimes, I mean, it still happens to me that I can, I, I draw things and I don't like it. You know, like what happens when I draw, when I create and things don't seem to be falling together quite right. It's not quite as satisfying, uh, like I would, like I would, like I really want. So, I put the little crayons away again. I mean, they're, they're fun little crayons, but I put them away and I just pulled out the old pen and paper. I, I flipped the page and uh, I started drawing with the, just a pen. That sometimes, that maybe that's the beauty of switching mediums a lot, is that it, you, you eventually you come back around full circle to like the, your favorite medium, which probably is, for me, pen and ink, you know? Just like an ink pen on a piece of paper and 
just drawing a bunch of fine little lines, just scribbling away a bunch of little details here, pushed up a bunch of little, against a bunch of little details there. And I do, you know, lately I have been enjoying branching out uh, to other mediums, you know, when I get a little bit bored or you know, my mind wanders, you know, maybe I'll do a ham, a ham dollar every now and then. But, you know, this is, this is what I really like right here. This is what I've been doing the most and, and the longest. And I really don't think I'll, I'll tire of it anytime soon. Even, even when these, these ink drawings don't turn out well, kind of like that, that crayon, crayon one, I, st I still like drawing the lines and I don't know maybe that's why I've been doing it for so long that I mean it's not probably not so long probably only like nine years even saying that I've been drawing for nine years I guess I started sometime in high school I think that was like nine years ago that's scary to say that's really scary to say that high school was nine years ago I graduated in 2009 it's 2007 and started sometime I don't know Anyways, I don't like thinking about the past and how how quickly all of time is slipping by. Even even just this week seemed to have gone seemed to have gone by too seemed to seems to have gone by. Grammar. One one day, human civilization will advance to a point where we don't need grammar anymore. And instead of wondering, you know, we're almost there. Instead of wondering whether we need to type y o u r or Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. We can just type U-R, like the letters U-R, you know? Texting is simplifying everything, and and we'll be there, you know, with double, what was it called in 1984? Double speech or think, thought, double thing. Anyways, obviously this is some sort of little uh, mechanical city, something or other. Who knows? It's kind of, this is kind of the same as drawing a junk pile and then towards the end of the drawing... I kind of uh, add a little bit of cohesiveness. I didn't know, when I started the drawing, of course, I didn't know what I was drawing. And then as it took took shape, it took, it took form on the paper and in my mind. That's how it works. That is how it works. Hmm. Anyways, I just want to thank Mickey for sending this package with the fun little paints and crayons and everything and everyone else to send stuff definitely is fun and uh it's it's a blast to mess around with yeah uh, some something a little bit of this goodbye goodbye not forever though just just goodbye for a little while